Okay, so what you're gonna do is wanna take the heater apart. If it's one of the ones that's in a case, take the case off. And then on the bottom, there's four 10 millimeter bolts. Just go ahead and remove those. Disconnect the fuel line and try not to spill too much diesel fuel. Unplug the power cable or the whatever the cable is um, and pull the heater body off the unit. And I'll, show you, I'll show you what the problem is. So right here, you may or may not have this, but this rubber rubber gasket right here. So when you first get the heater, it'll look like this on both sides. It'll have two small holes. And so what happens is, is this thing's like, right, so that's the exhaust right there, you know. Um, that is right up to the exhaust. This cheap Chinese plastic or rubber is right up to the exhaust. And that'll start to burn right there. It'll, it'll start to like crack and it'll off gas and it'll produce plastic fumes that are, that are making you sick. So just cut it like that. Just take, take snips and just cut it like that so it's not right up to the exhaust. And that should fix your problem. Now there's another part inside the heater that I'm gonna show you. So you gotta open it up. Pull out the heater body from the case. I'm gonna pause the video and put the, so I can take it apart. Okay, I got it apart. So here's the part that I'm talking about right here. It's this part right here. So right where the fuel line comes through, there's the fuel line. It goes through here, comes right here, and goes into the body of the heater. And there's a black rubber gasket right here, or some rubber seal, that that stinks. Like if you put your nose up to it, it stinks like Chinese rubber. So what I did to fix it is I covered it with silicone. I just took RTV silicone and covered it up. And now it doesn't smell anymore. I mean, once the silicone dries, you won't smell anything. So just do that. Go ahead and put the heater back together. You might also want to do the same for this one. I don't think this one smells on my heater, but if it does, you can cover it with silicone or just replace it with silicone or something or buy a better one. And um, that should fix it. So just go ahead and put everything back together and you should be able to enjoy your diesel heater without it making you sick or poisoning you with toxic chemicals.